All right, guys, I think we are live. Just gonna wait for my page over here to update so I can read all your comments. There you go. Let's load, let's load, let's load. Do you guys hear any background like humming or anything like that? My uh, video is uploading right now, and my computer is a little, little slow. So, I haven't live streamed in, in like what seems like, I don't know, a year. It's been a couple months. It's been a couple months. I've been super, super busy. Uh, I haven't live streamed in a very, very long time. But on today's agenda, I got an unboxing. I got some tech talk. And then I'll be answering your questions. I'm going to try to keep this short. So uh, let's just get started with the first item on today's list. Simple Fishing August Box. I'm going to unbox it for you guys. I um, haven't done an unboxing in a quite a long time, too. Um, actually, the video I'm uploading right now, you guys haven't seen part two yet, but part three, there's a little bit of an unboxing in there. So, uh, August box right here, going to open her up, slide everything out, and show you guys what's in the box and how I'd use it and all that lovely stuff so you guys can learn a little bit. So, fate card. What's in the box? Uh... One, two, three, four items in the box. Four items, that is correct. So first up, we got this wonky looking thing. I'm guessing this is for walleye, some sort of trolling thing. It's called a hockey stick. I have no idea how to use this, so I'm gonna just skip over it. For now, I don't troll for walleye. I don't walleye fish at all. If you guys didn't know, Simple Fishing is a multi-species box. So for all you multi-species anglers, this will be awesome. For me, I have to learn how to use this, so I can't give you guys any tips or anything like that. But moving on to some of the baits I do know about. Spinner bait. Wicked, wicked bait, especially in the fall, I have found I've caught quite a quite a good amount of good fish on a spinner bait. This is in uh as you guys can see here, fire tiger color. I think it's a half ounce. Looks to be a half ounce. Nice big blades on there, a lot of displacement. Um really really the 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 big blades are really good for slow rolling a spinner bait in. Um I like, I like throwing it out. I, use a, I, usually, I usually use a medium heavy rod. So people like to use a medium. I am not 14, I'm 18 years old, by the way. Um, I'll throw a 7 foot to a 7.2 uh, medium heavy fast action rod or a moderate fast action rod, um, braid or fluorocarbon or copolymer, and um, I'll throw it out, let it sink to the bottom, and slow reel it in. And a really, really good bait for, uh, for the summer and for some fall bass. Moving on, we got some bass attacker worms right here. I'm going to quickly open it up. Yeah, going to clear the air. I'm 18, and yes, I can drive. <laughs> we got a curly tail worm right here. Um, really, really good on a shaky head on a Texas rig. Um, I throw it on a medium heavy again or a heavy rod. Uh, Texas rig it with a 3 three eight ounce weight or something like that, throw it out, uh, hop it back to the boat on the bottom. Also really good if you want to cut it down a little bit for a trailer, for a spinner bait, for example, or your chatter bait or your jig. Um, but yeah, really, really good bait. As most of you guys know, they do catch fish. This is in a green pumpkin color, by the way. Shaky head, yeah, shaky head works really, really well. And the last bait I'm going to talk about is a jerk bait. Now, I caught an absolute mondo on a jerkbait this weekend. Not this weekend. It was Monday or Tuesday, I think. No, it was went Tuesday. It was Tuesday I caught that fish. You guys haven't seen it or anything like that. But this is a Dynamic Lures uh, spec, I think, jerkbait right here. Three inch, really, really good, small size. Uh, good size for the spring uh, since the baitfish are pretty small early in the year. Suspending action weighs 5 sixteenths of an ounce and dives between 1 and 4 inches. Really, really good smallmouth bait, good color as well. So that is it for the box. I want to answer some of your questions and then go into the tech talk. Let's put that all there. Are you guys still talking about my age? Damn. <laughs> sup, sup, sup. Sup, London. Landon, it's Landon, sorry, not London, Landon. If you had one lure for the rest of your life, what would it be? Hmm. Lure, like a hard bait? Hard bait? It's hard to say, probably like 
something I can work fast and work slow at the same time. I don't know, maybe a jig. I can swim it. I can hop it. I can pitch it. Um, bait, like soft plastic, would be a plastic worm, like a four inch or five inch plastic worm. Uh, Scarborough area. I have not fished Scarborough area. Sorry, I can't give you uh, any advice. Frenchman's Bay, way overfished. I fished there a couple times. Eh. Do you plan on turning pro in the future? I have zero plans as of right now to do so. But we'll, uh, we, you never know what could happen, right? Favorite video game? I don't play video games. <laughs> no time for that. Ice fishing this year. Um, if I get the time, yeah. It's been here since 2K. Awesome phase. No why fishing or miss. I've wally fished before. I just haven't really got into it since there's bass. Um, I'm pretty sure I will in the off season. Have you ever fished in the U.S.? Yes, I fished in Florida. All right, tech talk. Um, I believe this item has been hasn't been getting enough attention because of another item. So I'm talking about the Corrado rods that are coming out. Um, the Corrado reel you guys have heard about. It's you know everywhere. The Corrado rods not so much, and I feel like they're not being talked about enough. As the most of you guys know who follow my Instagram, um, I've had the chance to play around with them, and they're wicked, wicked rods. Um, they're replacing the Crucial lineup, so you guys could imagine the Crucial lineup just amped up and a little bit better. That's practically what the Corrado rods are. So there's 11 casting rods, and there's five uh, spinning rods, and there's five cranking rods. So the cranking rods are carbon glass uh, mixture of material so you have that slow parabolic bend um, where a cranking rod should be and the regular casting spinning rods are light sensitive and they have high module uh, carbon I believe and some sort of nanotechnology blank uh, they have Fuji stainless steel K guides uh, hey what's up guys we're just tuning in they have a Fuji reel seat of course uh, they, are, they have a sleek black finish, like a matte black finish. They look absolutely amazing. And my favorite part of all, they have A, 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 triple A, cork, grips, handles, cork. I'm a huge cork fan, super, super excited about that. So I quickly wanted to mention that on the live stream just because I don't feel like they're getting enough attention for what they are. Um, Crucial lineup was great. Corrado lineup is going to be epic. They're just amped up a little bit, and they have better um, actions on them. So uh, that's all I wanted to mention. And if you guys do not are not signed up, all you Canadians are not signed up for the Shimano newsletter, um, you guys can read all about them in the Shimano newsletter. Quickly show you guys. The first link down below is the newsletter. You guys can sign up. But uh, I actually got that email here, and they talked about the new Corrado rods. You guys can see right there. And some other stuff, some fishing tips and all that lovely stuff. So I just quickly wanted to mention that. Now let's get on with your questions. Uh, what is your opinion about Mystery Tackle Box? Good box. Um, I've had, I've been subscribed to them and I have had their boxes before. Um, I do like them. Sup, Cameron. Shimano sponsorship in full effect. I, I honestly think they're not being talked about enough. That's why I mentioned it, and um, you guys saw I had a Shimano giveaway a couple a couple months back now uh, with the Shimano newsletter. If you guys haven't signed up for it, make sure you guys do a link down below. Quick plug. Um, you, you do get plenty of tips in those emails, and they're not like spam. I think they come every two or three weeks or so. Do you ever fish for trout? Uh, not really. I fish for splake sometimes. Last time I trout fished. And made a video out of it. It went crazy viral, which is kind of weird because I'm not a trout fisherman or anything like that. It was an awful video, but I don't know why it did so good. Uh, I do have plans to get more into trout fishing just because not much to do when bass are off season. But uh, those are some weird, weird creatures for sure. They taste really good. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Can you help me with my homework? Probably not. I'm a little rusty. Let's get Sebi's punishment going, bud. Yes, if you guys, uh, I did a miniature like bass tournament with a couple of buddies. Steve actually was in the chat. Seb and Aaron um, on Lake Simcoe, and Seb lost. If you guys haven't watched this, spoiler spoiler alert. But Seb lost. He hasn't done the punishment yet, so you got to get him to do that. Favorite pitching baits. 
Um, I like using craws. Uh, any slender profile, not too many penages. I use be I'm using beavers a lot for that, for pitching, heavier cover. Christian, what's up? Oh man, I lost my spot again. Sup, Nelly? Favorite species of fish to catch is smallmouth bass. Hundred, hundred percent. Still a lot of fun. PB is still five. Yeah, my PB is still five point seven five. Oklahoma, Texas, maybe next year. Next year. Trout is the best. My favorite trout user to catch. Um, I don't know. I don't know about that. Have you ever used the Shimano Nike reels? Yeah, I actually have one. Um, I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. Really, really smooth. Um, do you know why there's almost no girls that fish? I cannot tell you that. No idea. Oh, uh, when does school start? I'm actually moving out Saturday. I'm going to university. Hopefully this mic's working. I put it here on purpose. <laughs> um, I'm moving out on Saturday, and I do have plans to fish and still make videos. Um, we'll see how the first couple months go. Uh, I start school the second week of September, and it really gets too cold to fish end of November. I do have a lot of videos pre-filmed that you guys will be seeing, so you're not going to be, uh, you know, contentless they just may be filmed in august and um you guys will probably see a little slowdown in my social medias and my youtube in the first couple months first year university i'm trying to adjust to everything i'm moving out too so it's going to be huge adjustments i fished simcoe for pike and jumbo perch the blast yeah simcoe has huge perch huge perch ever saltwater fished yes in florida buffalo new york i've been there never fished there do people ever recognize you on the water? Yeah, I've had a couple people recognize me on uh, the lake that I usually fish. A couple people recognize me in stores, like at Sale or Ganyan Sports. Um, I sold a couple of my older uh, reels and rods to actually a fan who didn't know I was the one that was selling them, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's not like crazy or anything like that, but I do get a couple people that recognize me. Ever fish Guelph Lake? Nope. I do have plans though. <laughs> Are you coming to the Toronto Fishing and Boat Show this year? Yes, I'll be at the Fishing and Boat Show and the Sportsman Show. Not sure about the Sportsman Show, but Fishing and Boat Show for sure. Yeah, okay, so I was on Facebook a couple days back, and Jay Fish actually mentioned it. An 8.4 or 8.14 pound smallmouth was caught on Lake St. Clair last week. That's crazy, on a spy bait. That's the unofficial lake record for a smallmouth 8.4 or 8.14 i'm not going to check right now mondo mondo fish it's crazy the amount of fish that come out of there that are like huge it's... as you guys know i was down at st Clair uh last week we fished for two days i was we're planning to fish for three but we got stormed out one day and went down to michigan you guys will see part two of the video of the series lake st Clair series in a couple of days i'm exporting it right now but um crazy crazy like they're so fat it's like simple they're like really really round and short it's really weird probably the gobies what do you call this emoji oh man uh miss claus miss claus what are you studying uh i'm studying uh biomedical science so just like bio science really just like science is grouped together <laughs> where are you going to school I'm um, staying in the Toronto area. Come to N ND Fargo Sportsman Show. I have no clue what that is, sorry. You should fish Island Lake in Orangeville. All right. I'll have a look around for sure. In Soviet Russia, the fish catches you. Come fishing in Quebec. Um, Big Rindo, Rondu Lake is a bucket list lake. That's kind of like, that's kind of near Quebec. PB smallmouth is 23 inches long. I did not have a scale back then, so I did not weigh it. But 23 inches, so probably like five, five and a half pounds. Um, I'm aiming to catch a six pound smallmouth this year to break that personal best. I got a couple plans to go down to uh, Lake Simcoe and Lake St. Clair in the fall. So I'm hoping to break my personal best then. Uh, I do have a couple promises, so we'll see if those hold up. Uh, what's up, New England Bass? I haven't talked to you in a very long time. Ever been to ICAST? No, because I never have the money to go down. I'm, I, I'm not going to pay for a flight 
and for entrance stuff and all that, all that stuff for a couple days, whether it be fishing. And you have to be paying in U.S. dollars, and the Canadian exchange rate so bad that it's just up there. No point as right as of right now. Gotta get out fishing when you're in Guelph. I have plans to. Uh, oh, I lost my spot again. Lost my spot again. Hobie kayak? No, I have a kayak and it's a pelican, and I barely fish out of it just because uh, not really a huge kayak fan. Non-fishing activity, soccer. I've been playing soccer since I've been like four, so 14 years now. It's kind of crazy. Also dirt bike and snowboard and wakeboard and all that lovely stuff. How often do you use big swim baits? Uh, never. <laughs> you fish Guelph Lake. I do not fish Guelph Lake. Big muskie in Quebec. Yeah, there's big muskie. Yo, I was, in, I was on Lake St. Clair. We were fishing for bass. And I looked down into the water and I see this log just sitting there. And then I realized we're in 20 feet of water, and there's no way that log's in 20 feet of water. And I realized it has fins on it. And it was a muskie. I practically flipped my shit. Like, it, it's on video. Like, I flipped out on this huge thing. I, it, was, it was at least 50 inches long. It was, it was crazy big. Crazy, crazy, crazy big. You still ride dirt bikes. See, yeah, I do sometimes. You sound like you're from Canada. Really? Big Redo Lake, amazing smallmouth fishing there, I've heard. No problem fishing USA. Do a catfish video. Um, I've caught a couple catfish in my Poland videos, if you guys want to go watch that. But, uh, yeah. Gotta get you off on Guelph Lake. I've heard Guelph Lake is really, really tough if you don't have a boat. And I won't be bringing my boat with me, so. Shore fishing. I'm planning to do some river fishing too. We'll see. We'll see. I don't want to start blocking people, guys. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Fish Florida. Um, eventually, yeah, I will. Eventually I'll be going down to the southern states. Not sure when, probably when um I'm out for the summer break. So like I think it's April or May or something like that. We'll see. Thank you, Anthony, for the support. PV smallmouth, 23 inches long, no scale. Woo! We're on fire today, guys. We're on fire. Any more fishing questions, let me know. I won't keep this uh, going for too long, probably another 5, 10 minutes or so. And then I'm out. I'm actually, you guys can't see because the camera's cut off here. My whole, my whole floor is closed. I'm packing right now, so. Where exactly is Guelph Lake? Guelph Lake is in Guelph. It's uh, west of Toronto. West of Toronto. Do you have a favorite casting rod? No, I've never been appealed to. They don't look too appealing, let's just say that. The materials, at least. Picked up two more Loomis today. Grant's spending a lot of money over there on G Loomis. Really, really nice rods, though. So, What's your fave smallmouth rig? Um, drop shot has always caught me smallmouth. Always, always, always. Recently, I've been nailing them on a swim bait and a jerk bait, but pretty much those three, those three right there. A couple people asked for top five fall lures. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Spinner bait, jig, swim bait, jerk bait. Um, in the top water, probably some sort of top water. I don't fish too much top water in the fall, though. Try the Trent River; you'll easily smash large mouth PB if you back. So five, seven point eight pounds. Yeah, the Trent River is really pressured, though. Oh wait, no, Trent River. Yeah, Trent River that runs through Peterborough. Um, I fished around there before; never really too appealing to me. But maybe one day, yeah, when I'm up in Peterborough. Oh man, oh man. Look up Scott Rose. We go to Florida, hook up with a beauty peacock bass. Peacock bass. Bucket list. Bucket list fish for sure. What to expect if I ever travel to Canada to fish? Um Well, it's gonna be colder probably than when you're coming where you're coming from, unless you're like in Michigan or New York or something like that. So expect to pack jackets, sweaters, and pants. Pack finesse, um, 
spinning reels and finesse baits and lures and all that stuff. If you're going for smallmouth, uh, make sure you pack a drop shot and uh, have light line because most of these lakes are very, very clear. Pretty much every lake is clear and has really, really thick grass. So, salmon fishing this fall? I hope so. Um, I had a planned breakthrough a couple days back, but oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Don't make me block, you guys. Oh, favorite time, bait of all time. Yeah, I blocked Lewis. Uh, favorite bait of all time, smallmouth or largemouth? That's the real question. <laughs> What's that white thing? On oh, this is a microphone. I'm hoping it's working. There, it's, let's go like that. I found this better audio with uh, using a little mic situation over here. Whopper plopper and walking bait or fall or killer. Schooling bass. Yeah, I just picked up the new 110 sized uh, whopper plopper down in Michigan. Uh, I, I have it here. Oh. It's in here. Doo -doo, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah. Second whopper plopper. I have a 90 size. This is the 110 size. It's a little bit bigger. In a nice bone white color. This is like a little pack I've packed for my going away. Um, some swim bait, some uh, jigs, some other stuff. I gotta organize all my stuff. Wow. Oh, all right. <laughs> hey, Puppet Touch Papal School. There you go. Luke just asked me to say something in Polish. Uh, hi from Chicago. Hey, Luke, how's it going from Chicago? Uh,. When got what got you started fishing? Uh, I talked about it in one of my last Poland videos. I ch actually started fishing in Poland. Uh, my uncle got me into it. Ever fish for Ice Lake? Uh, nope. I did. I've never fished Ice Lake before. Do you think you can beat up Peric? I think I'm bigger than Peric, so he looks really, really short. I don't know. Sound on my side isn't working. Oh, that's not. I hope it's working for you guys. I don't know. Maybe turn up. Maybe your sounds off on your computer or something like that. But hey, how's it going? I am 18. I'm, I have to put like 18 in my bio or something. Everyone asks me all the time. <laughs> I, I look really young, but I'm 18. If you guys see, I, I can drive. Do they like catching pike? Uh, yeah. It's, it's it's fine. I mean, it's a little bit more of a hustle for me because I'm not really into the whole pike thing. I haven't really figured them out, but. Congrats on the channels blowing up. Thank you. Grab life by the fish. Nice, nice screen tag name. Uh, what's your favorite Shimano gear so far? Um, probably the Zodius rod. It's epic. It's it's super light, very bal well balanced, nice and sensitive. Like it a lot. Bucket list country to fish. Country. Wow. Norway. 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 I have connections in Norway, and I'm planning to do some pike fishing up there one day, but bucket list for sure. I do not hunt, so I don't go after anything. Um, not really too... I don't know, it doesn't really appeal to me too much. I wouldn't mind, like, hunting for turkeys or something like that, but, like, just seeing, like, a dead bear or something like that being hunted, I don't know, just kind of close to my heart <laughs> zoom speed worm seven inch green pumpkin on a one fourth ounce weight is killer large and small bait try it out um speed worm speed worm or speed cross speed worm is that like a trick worm I'm pretty sure it's a trick worm brazil brazil yeah any of like the south american countries would be pretty fun to fish too Help me with getting cheaper baits. Woo! Cheaper baits, cheaper baits, cheaper baits. Don't go to Bass Pro. <laughs> no, if you go to Bass Pro, cheaper baits are the Bass Pro branded baits. Um, I use their Stickos. I use their Poppers. I have a couple of their crankbaits. Uh, 
I have a couple of their jigs. But try the try the um the Bass Pro branded stuff. Uh if I don't know if you're in Canada or not. If you're in Canada, go to sale. They have bargain bins there. Uh I don't know how it's down the how the stores are down in the US. But um also during the wintertime, Tackle Warehouse is a huge like Christmas sale. Check that out too. But Okay. Okay. I gotta have like an admin here blocking people. It's crazy. Um, have you ever used the weedless Z-Man chatterbait? The weedless one. I know Z-Man makes a chatterbait, and I use that one. I never heard of them having a weedless one. Don't have a BPS near me. Yeah, check on the BPS online. Then they have some stuff there. Best top water bait. Um, I've had a lot of success on a popper and a spook. Mostly a popper, though. I fish mostly poppers. I'll be admin. <laughs> I fish for carp spring till ice up, but I plan on hitting the steelhead hard come November. Awesome. Let me know how you do. I get cheap baits on Cabela's online store. Look for sales. Yeah. Um, if you're in Canada, check out Cabela's online. I've, I've, I've browsed through their stuff a couple times, and they do have a couple of, like, good bargain uh, deal sales. So uh, you can go have a look at that. But last couple of questions, and I'm out. So, uh, like, five more questions or so. Poppers, more for sale bait, pop it, walk it all the time. Or pop it, walk it, and all. Yeah, poppers have done really, really good for me for smallmouth and largemouth and rock bass. A lot of rock bass. Um, recently, I've been like this year. I've been getting more into like toad baits. Ever since we uh, won that tournament on this little guy right here, <laughs> uh, and I like them a lot. They're a lot more versatile than hollow body frogs, in my opinion. Um, Personally, what I like doing is I like buzzing them over the lily pads. Right when there's an opening in the lily pads or the lily pads end, I'll stop and let it sink. And a lot of times, I'll get a bite then. You can do the same thing for mats and other cover. But uh, a lot more versatile, in my opinion, just because it, it, can, it can sink underwater. And for some of those more finesse or finicky fish that want the bait underwater and they won't come up for it, money. Money, money, money. What snowboard deck do you ride? Um, I think it's a Captain America or K2 or something like that. I haven't fit, I haven't snowboarded in like a while now. Like last winter, I barely snowboarded because I had knee issues. But <laughs> I don't have I don't have bass thumb right now. I haven't been fishing in two days. Kind of goes away after a while. Is Lake Simcoe fairly deep? Ah, uh, yes. Um, what I what for? From what I've seen, it's fairly deep. We don't fish any deeper than like 25 feet, though, That when I've been fishing on there. I'm sure people have been fishing, you know, 50, well, for lake trout, like 50 feet. For small, probably like 30 feet or so. Candy bait for child, candy for bait challenge. Like gummy worms, etc. That's a good idea. It's been done a couple of times before, but. Hey, dude, how's it go? How goes it? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> What species are in the Detroit River? Walleye, white bass, largemouth, smallmouth, perch, there's sturgeon in there, illegal, at least in Ontario. Um, pretty much everything, I think. Catfish, carp. It's a, lot, it's a really, really nice river to fish, although it's really, really mucky. How old are you? I am 18. 18, 18, 18. Good job, fish life. You're going to do ice fishing videos. If I get out ice fishing, I will. For sure. Good phone's blowing up. Ever use gulp baits? Um, I've used the little gulp minnows on a drop shot before. Um, I also use little gulp minnows for panfish. Uh, not bad. They're really expensive up here, though, for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> like, the trick worms, the gulp trick worms are scented. I don't know, they're like nine bucks or something whenever I look at them. So, <laughs> uh, Lake Superior, no, I have not. No, I have not. Simple fishing. Scott, how's it going? How is it going? Um, I actually unboxed a little August box in the beginning of this little live stream. Uh, dab on them. <laughs> <Boop>. <laughs> I'm 
I'm literally gonna make an I'm 18 years old sign and hang it up right here. It's gonna be open all of my live streams. <laughs> uh, awesome Slick Sinclair videos and pics. Yeah, so I got I'm way behind on pictures, so like on my Instagram I'm still catching up. Uh two more Lake St. Clair episodes coming out. So if you're a best master angler, you guys will see. Well actually if you guys saw my Instagram Seth Fighter. Slightly obsessed with him. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. You guys can't see, but he's my background right now. Has been for a little bit, but Phantom Fishing, how's it going? How is it going? How you doing? Sup Dan? Love that you love the show. <laughs> Friend caught about a three pound smallie. It was the nicest one I've seen. We waited up in our chest and I'm six two and he's five eleven. Wow. Must have been worth it though. Use bucktail spin bait spinners, not really. Nice, nice. Seth Smallmouth King. <laughs> you guys will see the video. It's hilarious. Oh gosh. Where do I get those Angler's Choice Wally Minars? You can go on anglerschoice.com. You can go on Tackle Warehouse. Uh, you can go to some Canadian tires if you're in Canada. But they're online and they're in most of your local tackle shops. <laughs> Don't say, yeah, it's true. Yeah, Alberta doesn't have too many uh, bass, I don't think, either. Brickies are nah. Maybe, I mean, I need to go out with, like, a guide because I have no clue what I'm doing when I'm going for trout, so. PB Smalley is only 3.5. You'll get a bigger, bigger one, don't worry. Michael, let me know. As you know, I'm moving out west. But if we can meet up somewhere, I'll go fishing with you. We haven't gone fishing. We've known each other for, what, like a year now? We still haven't gone fishing. <laughs> what is my best rod? Like, best rod as in the one I like the most or the, like, most expensive one? You still in high school? Nah, I'm in university. Are you east of we or west of Toronto? I'm moving out west. I'm moving out west. Ever fished on Belle Isle? Nope. Where's your next trip planned? I have zero trip, actually out west, <laughs> out west, out west. I have a couple trips planned, but they're not set yet. So I'm not gonna say anything. What's your line choice for drop shotting and the way it choose from muddy bottom? Um, muddy bottom, line choice is always gonna be the same for me. It's a finesse technique. I'll go 10 to 20 pound braid, Power Pro Super Slick 8, to a six to 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. I've recently been running six and eight pound. Uh, I've been going a little bit more finesse. Um, I usually use an 18 foot leader ish. Depends if, if I'm going to like Lake Simcoe or a really really clear lake. I'll fish 18 feet of a leader. If I'm going to like a regular lake that I usually fish, I'll narrow it down to like eight or ten feet usually. But really up to you. I recommend going at least six feet though. And the weight it really just depends on first of all the current and second of all the wind. The windier it is the heavier weight you want, cast it further, keep it on the bottom. I usually run uh, usually a one-fourth ounce if it's not too windy. I'll go up to like a three-fourths or like a half ounce, usually the most, but really it's mostly just a one-fourth ounce. I found that when they're really, really active, I can get a couple of fish on the fall, so the lighter the weight, the better of a chance I can get a fish on the fall. The issue is if it's too windy, I can't keep it on the bottom. I always use a cylinder weight. Um, if I'm fishing... Again, if I know they're going to be catching it on the fall sometimes, I'll fish a uh, ball weight and really, really light weight. Wow, that's a lot of talking. <laughs> when is the next meetup? Uh, no plans right now. The name's Seth and you're blushing. <laughs> uh, chat at the shop. Don't know you're getting out west. Good luck with school. Got to go. I may, st I may stop by tomorrow. I'm going out to uh, that area. Your favorite rod, uh, the Zodius, Shimano Zodius. Do you use swivels? No, I fish. Okay, let's go through this again. They're right here. 
I fish these guys. VMC spin shot hooks. I've been using a couple troll car hooks, spin shot hooks, and I have a couple of Gamma Gatsu spin shot hooks. I use these hooks right here. They have, as you guys can see, a little swivel right there. So you tie your main line to this one here and your leader to this one here. So you have to tie you have to tie an extra knot, but zero line twist issues. Zero. I love it. I love those hooks. Do you use live bait? No, I do not. You planning on fishing? Yes, I've been planning to fish Wolf Lake. So, a couple more questions and I'm out. I keep on pre prolonging this. Come down to South Florida. Plans to. Don't know when yet. Probably next year. Uh, we'll, we'll see where this takes me. Snap, I, I, had, a, I had a Lady Bass Snapchat. Um, you guys can probably imagine what happened when I opened it. So now I do not use it anymore. So if you guys want to chat, you go to my Instagram. I don't use Snapchat anymore. <laughs> Substake time. You should come to fish my battle lake. Your battle lake? Hey, Brian. Name's Isabella. Sup? Do you have any ghost stories? Um, I have one ghost story, but last time I told it to like a family member, my mom overheard, and she told me that it was actually her long story i was really really sick um i wasn't feeling well and i was i was like probably, i think seven years old or eight years old i was less than 10 years old i was sleeping with my grandma um and i got up in the middle of the night i was like i was super sick i could barely sleep like i slept a couple hours and i looked to the side and there's like a, a figure there i thought like it was a ghost like she, there was a figure there just standing over me i got super super scared so i turned around and went back to sleep and um, I was actually telling the story last year, and my mom ended up telling me it was her. So, no more ghost story, guys. <laughs> uh, Okeechobee is a bucket list, a bucket list uh, lake for me for sure. All right, guys. So that is a wrap for the full live stream. I'll probably be live streaming on my Instagram tomorrow. Uh, but that's a wrap. That is a wrap. Moving out Saturday, I will be fishing. You guys will be still seeing content, just maybe a tad bit slower. Uh, but like I said, if you guys want to check out Simple Fishing, link down below. If you guys want to check out the Shimano newsletter, highly recommend you guys sign up. Again, link down below. There's also a little little uh, coupon, not coupon, uh, promo code there. Um, actually, I'm not quite sure what it's for, but it was given to me. So, <laughs> uh, so uh, next video will come out in the next couple of days part two of Lake St. Clair. And I'll see you guys in the next one.